Hey everyone, welcome back to Top Dog Tips. My name is Samantha, this is my chocolate lab Sadie and our boxer Chloe. Today we are gonna tell you guys how to make a rear leg sling for your dog and I'm gonna show you how to use it as well. And all you need to do this is a reusable grocery bag like this. If you don't have one, I think pretty much everyone has one kicking around their house, but uh, give me seats. If for some reason you don't have one, you can pick them up at any grocery store or big box store. Very cheap. They're like a dollar, a little over a dollar. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your reusable grocery bag and you want to cut both sides out of the bag. So I'm going to start by doing that. Um, my dogs don't need a rear leg sling, so that's why we don't already have one made. But your dog may need a sling for many different reasons. Um, sometimes after healing from an injury or a certain surgery, your dog might need a little bit of help walking around for a few days. And a rear leg sling can come in very handy. Uh, oftentimes it's because of either a degenerative issue or uh, age that your dog can no longer hold themselves up all the time or climb the stairs by themselves. Whoops. Also, I guess our little cat Elsa is going to help us out today. See, you're going to get pooped. So if your dog needs assistance um, getting up the stairs, if they need assistance on walks, um, for example, if you're walking and there's a little curb or something, they need some help getting up. This is not a cat bed or a dog toy. There are lots of reasons why your dog may need a rear leg sling. It's obviously best to consult with your veterinarian uh, before attempting any kind of homemade sling or um, you know helping your dog in any way. Pulling on, um, and you'll see when we use this, it kind of pulls up on their abdomen, which is normally fine, but there may be some other health issue which makes it uh, not a good idea for your dog. So you do just want to double check with your veterinarian. Most of the time, um, it's just a phone call or when you go in to talk about whatever the issue is, whether it's a surgery or um, you know if your dog's just getting older and having a hard time, um, it's pretty easy to use a rear leg sling so most veterinarians will recommend one um, for most people so you've got both sides cut out and now you can see what you've got is a little sling come here sadie so i'm going to get sadie in here and we will show you how to use it it's pretty simple um, you're just going to wrap it around your dog and um, right over you can see kind of right by their hips here and you can help them walk with this come here sadie you can kind of lift up on it a little bit to help them walk. If you need to pick up their hind end for some reason, you don't like that high, you don't need help. Um, if you need to pick up their hind end for some reason to get them up over a stair, it's very easy to lift. You don't have to bend over and help them. Um, come here. No, it's not a chew toy. Sit. Lay down. If you have an older dog that has trouble getting up, um, oftentimes dogs in their old age just get lame and they need a little trouble getting up, but once they're there, they're all set. Um, you can slide this really easily because it's flat and it's soft. Um, you can slide it under your dog if your dog will cooperate, which clearly mine will not today. Uh, you can slide it under them and then just sort of slide it back to where you need it. And then you can help them stand up when it's time to stand up. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention is that you want to use a uh, cotton, a soft cotton bag. You can also find uh, the recycled plastic bags, which are great for grocery purposes, but they're kind of uh, scratchy and hard. So you don't want to use those on your dog. You want a nice soft cotton bag. So um, it's pretty easy to make and use a rear leg sling for your dog. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, uh, Samantha at topdogtips.com. Now our dogs are going to get all rambunctious, so they're shaking the camera a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yep, Samantha at topdogtips.com. Of course, jump on our Facebook page, uh, Twitter. We're all over social media. On our website, you can subscribe to our newsletter. And, of course, on YouTube, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll be kept up to date with all the videos that I post every week. I post multiple every week, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.